Hi, hello, hello, and welcome to the stream. My name is Timaz. This is the Construction Zone. And as you can see on the giant screen here behind me, uh, which happens to be broken, <laughs> we are going to be getting back into some t uh, Sable. Uh, we are currently playing uh, part 10 of our very first playthrough of the game. Uh, it has been a fantastic game. Been enjoying it immensely. Um, I'm actually looking forward to getting back into it. Uh, so much so that I actually started a little early tonight so that I could hurry up and start playing again. Um, so yeah, that is what we're going to be getting into. Um, as we are uh, streaming this, it is Friday evening here in the Midwestern United States. Uh, I hope your day is going well, whatever day it might be when you're watching this. Um, yeah, hope you're doing well, hope things are going well for you, and, uh, wherever you might be out there on the, uh, Big Blue Marble. So, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll head over to the shop. Alright, um, the music seems a touch loud. Just, just, just a touch. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe I'm being quiet. I'm not sure, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, as we played, uh, last, uh, was it on Wednesday we played, uh, we completed uh, a couple of things that we wanted to do. We found the cartographer for the, uh, the lower Western section of the map. Uh, and so we got that filled in. Um, we completed one of the... Uh, quests, which was the uh, the one where the um, the hostel owner, the the innkeeper, whatever you want to call it, at Seven Sisters Station, uh, they had uh, requested that we go out and gather some poo for them <laughs> from these certain kind of beetles. Um, I love that the uh, that the captioning thought I said food <laughs> and, and not poo. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so we, we got quite a bit done. Uh, we also found, uh, yet another ship, uh, that had the AI inside and we had a chance to talk to them and got a little bit more of the story. I guess you would call it the origin story of what's, what happened and why these ships are scattered all over this planet, or at least this area of this planet. Um, and so it's it's sounding like things didn't go right, um, that they did, in fact, crash land here. Um, and I am assuming at this point we don't have enough of the storyline to know for a fact, but it does feel like we are either the descendants of them um, or we, maybe we were already here and they crash landed on the planet. I don't know. Um, I am getting the feeling though, that we may be the descendants of those who came, uh, in the ships and, uh, the power that allows us to glide apparently also just absolutely wreaked havoc with their ships and caused them to crash. Um, that is the... That is the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's the impression that I get so far is that, um, that whatever that power is that allows me to glide is the power that, that messed up all of their instrumentation and stuff and caused them to crash land. Um, hold on one second. Oh, I apologize. I needed a cough there for a second. Um, so yeah, that is the, um, that is the impression I've been given. Um, when we left off at the game, we went over to Seven Sisters Station and kind of, uh, just, you know, kind of found our home base again and got settled in for a little bit, um, so that we had a clear starting point for this stream. Uh, so with that being said, why don't we go ahead and flip the screen around and we will jump into Sable. All right, we are going to turn on the game audio and we will uh, 
pause the music for a second. The uh, fantastic music that you get to hear uh, here during my streams is provided by Pretzel. Um, I am an affiliate with Pretzel. Um, you can see um, every once in a while on the screen the Pretzel logo will, will pop up. Uh, Pretzel.rocks is where you can uh, find out more about them. They have a free player. Uh, all of the music that they have with the artists that they are assigned on the, their uh, system, all of it is DMCA free. Uh, so you can uh, use it to stream with um, or for, you know, listening to without having to worry about any any of the you know copyright issues and things like that. And so it's a fantastic uh, application and really great people, a very responsive support. Uh, Any time that I've needed to talk to folks at support, uh, it's you know it's been an immediate thing talking to folks over at Discord, um, on on Pretzels Discord. They're they're awesome folks. So yeah, um, in my bio down below um, the the game window down there, uh, you'll see a logo for Pretzel. If you're interested in picking Pretzel up, uh, just click that link. You can download it for free. And uh, at some point, if you do want to upgrade to one of the paid subscriptions like I have, um, you, uh, I, I do see a residual from that. So just for clarification or for fair warning. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, just go to pretzel.rocks or you can click the link down there um, and it'll take you over and you can check their stuff out. There's some amazing music on there. A lot of great categories, literally thousands upon thousands of tracks. It's a, it's some really great music, and uh, I like it a lot. I'm I'm really glad with the decision to start using them. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and click somewhere in the game so the game recognizes that I'm... There we go. Got the controller going. Let's continue. And as you've probably noticed on the screen, um, the window is slightly letterboxed, um, and that is because uh, I do that on purpose. Uh, I do that so that you get the entire panorama of the game so that nothing's cropped off, or as little as possible is cropped out. The only thing you're missing is the tiny corner behind my... 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 like the window here showing me. <laughs> um, but outside of that, from edge to edge, you are seeing the entire screen. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to make sure that, uh, even though I have to letterbox it a little bit, th that I just wanted to make sure that everybody could see, kind of get the full experience of this game because it is so, so incredibly well done uh, visually. So, um, as I said, we are standing here at Seven Sisters. Uh, the reason it is referred to as Seven Sisters uh, let's see. Am I turning the right way? No. There they are. Uh, you can see, uh, let me kind of move away from the, the fire here a little bit so you can see better. Oh, hold on. There's a butterfly. Gotta grab the butterfly. There we go. Uh, but yeah, let me pan up here. These are the seven sisters, these floating rocks in the sky that I, I don't know what makes them float or why or how. Um, I have tried to uh, ascend them, and it appears very tricky. Um, I said at some point that we're going to come back and try it again, but basically there is one way up, and so you have to... You have to kind of stair step it to get your way up to the top um, and get to the very top, which is the, the middle, the center one. I believe that's the highest one. Um, but yeah, it's 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 tricky. I tried, what was it, three or four times on, was it Monday's stream? Or maybe it was last Friday's? But yeah, I tried several times and I fell every time. I couldn't, I couldn't quite get... I, I understood how to do it, but the but the doing was the hard part. So uh, so yeah, we are going to uh, actually we as we always do 
need to jump in and we need to change our outfit. For some reason, it defaults to the first outfit here. Uh, so we are going to change back into our Abexi clothes. Uh, let's see. Biker, Abexi, Boulder, Crean, Machinist, Ibex Glider Top. There we go. Because we are a member of the Abexi tribe. Um, let's see. Atomic Priesthood Trousers, the Whale Ship, the Beetle Station, Bike Trousers, Abexi Trousers, Bouldering, a Crean, Aries, a Crean Guard Trousers, and the Abexi Glider Trousers. There we go. All right, um, we are going to hop back. Whoops. Um, let's see. We'll go into... Let's double check our map really quick. Yep, there we are at Seven Sisters. Um, one of the things I was talking about doing in this stream was to go where we dropped this pin, which is down in the corner down here. There was something down here. Uh, and we also know that there is something over here. One of the two of these is the lightning quest that we have to do, where we, we basically have to catch lightning in a jar, uh, which sounds terrifying. Um, and then you know, we have some other quests. I'm, I'm presuming there's probably a quest there. There's probably a quest there. Where these gray, these darker gray, gray areas seem to be where the items are. Um, so, yeah, we are here, so let's go ahead and we'll look at our quests. Um, we can't do that one yet because we have to, we have to find someone that's kind of out wandering around, so we're, that one's probably going to be one of the last things we do. Um, we have, I believe, four out of an unknown total quantity of these rings. These ring-shaped artifacts, as we find them, we just keep collecting them. At some point, I'm assuming we're going to find out what these are for, but uh, at this point, we don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, building a queendom. How many eggs do we currently have? We have 12, so we need uh, 8 more eggs, and this will actually be done. Um, we will have all 100 eggs for her. Um, the gliding, that's probably going to be one of the last things we do. Uh, Saren's terminals, we do, we find Saren's terminals whenever we find a spaceship. On one of the crashed ships. A lightning in a bottle, that's the one that I was talking about. So I'm going to highlight this. And then we're going to look at the map to see if it shows us where it is. Okay, that's where my marker is. So we have to go there and talk to the person there about how to catch lightning in a bottle. And then once we, they tell us how to do it, I believe they will tell us where to go to do it, to, to do it. Kind of uh, put emphasis on the right word there. Um, okay, so that will that may be the next thing we do. So we'll go ahead and highlight that one. Uh, Nazi wanted us to go to a cave near Hakoa. Um, and basically we have to throw rocks into the water. It causes smoke to happen and that will make the glow worms fall from the ceiling and we can gather them. Um, but we have to gather five glow worms for, uh, Citra. Um, and I believe this one. Yeah, this one is the other, so that's that other area we need to go to. So those two areas are both quests that we need to complete. Um, riding the wave, we can't do that one yet. Searching for Lahore, that is uh, one of the characters we need to finish that Heartbreak in the City, the top quest that we have up there. So we have a lot of quests kind of like going at the same time. But we have finished 17 quests in 10 streams, so not too shabby. <laughs> We've done a minimum of one per stream, so uh, sometimes uh, twice, two. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into getting a quest done here. 
Um, what do we do first? Nazi or do we do lightning in the bottle? Um, lightning is heads, Nazi is tails. Um, hey Siri. Please pick heads or tails. It's tails. Tails. Okay, uh, that means the second one. There we go. We will head to Nazis. So let's uh, look back at our map here really quick. Um, okay, so we want to head, basically head like towards the cartographer and then just keep going south as far as we can. It almost feels like it might be easier to skirt over here into this orange area because the blue area is filled with so many of those deep valleys that it it's it's kind of hard to travel through it um and so i'm i'm almost tempted although we'd miss all the stuff in between there seeing whatever's out there so eh, maybe we'll just make the the long haul um all right so let's uh let's jump down and get our our glider crystal butterfly there. Can't pass that up. Okay, so we know... I believe we are currently facing north. Uh, is that true? No, we are facing northeast. So if we go... Basically, if we go around the corner where that, where, let's go up here. If we go around the corner here where this bit is jutting out and then start heading south, that'll kind of aim us in the right direction. Okay, so. Bit that is jutting out. Hook around that. There we go. That should get us going in the right direction. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. easy, easy, easy. And this is what I was talking about. It's a very, very. There's uh, there's a lot of hills and valleys, and it's the uh, the glider does not like that. It does not do well with hills. And so to get over these, we keep having to do these like roundabout, like go around the edge of this one and then go around the edge of the next one. And it makes for a very, a very long route. It feels like instead of just going directly where we need to go. Stay up here on this edge. Uh, that looks like we may need to go this way. Oh, starting to slide. Okay. Let's look around. Get. Okay, hold on. That's the cartographer right there. Okay, we were going due south, so we need to actually aim over. We need to swerve kind of 
not necessarily at the cartographer, but toward that general vicinity, that direction. So once we cut through here, we're going to kind of angle to the left a little bit. Hit that kind of hard. Is that a butterfly? No. It's just a weird... <laughs> the, the graphics being a little glitchy. Okay, so there's the track. The track we found. Um, and so we will pass... Pass by the rings. Easy, easy. Hug the wall here. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's it's so much more difficult to to travel in this area. Okay, directly in front of us. Okay, that yeah, so we need to turn a hard right here. Um that directly in front of us is where we found the beetles. So hard right here. We go back this way. Taking our surroundings really quick. Make sure we're not missing anything important. So, it would behoove us to go, yeah, maybe a little, maybe we'll go to the right around these, and then angle left. Ouch. Jeez. It's a good thing our glider doesn't take damage. Looks like a pretty steep drop there. So we're going to kind of angle this way just for a bit and get around that that sheer face. Okay. Okay, we definitely need to hook this way. I was over I was overcorrecting. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're heading right for it now. Feels like it's Oh, it's that steam vent. I'm like, what? Something's loud, like a 
It sounded almost like a ship. All right, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, very bumpy. Okay. Goodness. What in the world is this? Okay. That's new. <laughs> that's that's something we haven't seen before. Um this is awfully steep. Um all right. Let's kind of gingerly go down here and see what's going on. All right, we'll kind of head this way just for a second. Kind of lay of the land. Okay, I don't see any butterflies. I don't see any dragonflies or anything we can collect. What in the world? What in the world? That is where we, yeah, we're, we're right there. Okay. That's, this is it. Okay. Oh yeah. We're definitely there. I see an egg down there on that cliff. How steep is that? It's not too bad. I'm not seeing anything in the back that's looking too terribly important over here. Seeing, yeah, not seeing any kind of like hidden. Hey, this is the back entrance, or sure that front part looks like it's a way to get in, but this is easier. <laughs> not, not that that this game has done that to me before. Oh no. Um. Okay, we already know what's on the other side, so we could feasibly. Just hook. I'll we'll go back to the other entrance, or the main entrance. Or at least what appears to be the front of this. This whatever it is. Alright. This seems like a safe place to leave our bike. Uh, since everything else is so hilly and whatnot, at least this should stay flat. Just seven more, and we've collected all 100 eggs. Yeah, that, I don't... I mean, you can't, you can't die in this game. I could... I mean, it looks like lava, but... I don't know. Let's, uh... 
Let's head up this way and see what we've got up here. Just to make sure real quick, we're going to look around the lip. Make sure we didn't miss anything down there. Why does it look like a... I'm very confused. Nothing around the outside edge. Okay. There's another drop point over there, but there's no egg on that side. So I get the impression that we're supposed to go up. Stamina regenerate here. There we go. Oh. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about. This game likes being sneaky. Double check all the way back there. Okay, nothing. And come over here, and sure enough, there's a clay pot. Twenty coins in it. Okay, so up here so is this like a volcano i, I mean I'm, I'm not getting volcano vibe because it's not smoking but I don't understand why it looked like it was swirling that seemed very confusing maybe there's some answers up here no but there is another egg here. Alright, so let's look. Into the cave. Gather glowworms. Okay, so...
we went around the outside and there weren't any secret entrances. So that makes me wonder if there is an entrance behind the waterfalls. Let's look at where we are. Oh, we're gonna zip, whoop. Sorry. Let's put the marker where we are. Okay. So we're up there on top of the hill. This thing goes all the way back here. Um, okay, so face that way. Nope. Face that way. That is exactly the wrong direction. That is the end of it. Is over there. Do I have enough stamina to get to the top of this? Mm, I don't know that I do. That's really high. Is this side lower? Let's try it. See if we have enough stamina to make it all the way to the top. Not even close. Okay, so if there is something up there, we would have to get on top of something taller than that to get to it and float over. Is there anything taller than that? Let's stand up against this wall. Yeah, we're only halfway. The cave, yeah, we're only halfway from that. So basically from that little post right behind our head, this giant post is the halfway point. So it's equally, it goes, it continues on back that way. So I wonder if there's actually an entrance back there. I'm not seeing anything here. What is that? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> I was seeing. I was seeing the edge of that, one of the two pillars up there. I thought there was something on top of here. 
Alright, so let's float down. We will continue back this way. Let's see if there's something back here. Survey says, not likely. Unless it's up on top. Yeah. We're already, we're already off of the entrance or off of the Off the cave system. Okay, so that leads me to believe that maybe it's behind the waterfalls. here and float over there. Any butterflies down there? No. These are super tall. Uh, let's take these one at a time. This one. Okay. Just having a look, see. around us. Okay. Can I get up to there? From up here, I should be able to float across and have enough stamina left to climb up the big hill. Even though this is pretty far away from it. Wait for our stamina. Okay. There does appear to be smoke coming out of the top of it. I don't know, maybe this will work. Or I could crash and burn. I'm not sure either way. We're going to give it a shot. We are going to give it a shot. Oh, 
How far did we fall? <gasps> oh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Come on, come on, stand up. Stand up, stand up. No, you got to be kidding me. We were that close. <laughs> I'm so bummed that uh, we were literally like just within inches of of the top. That is ridiculous. Within inches of the top. Okay, so our next uh, our next bright idea is to try to get in through the uh, through the waterfall. Can we? Okay, we don't seem to be harmed. Okay, that's not the answer. All we're doing is climbing up the waterfall. Um, okay, so let's try going around to the front. To, to the other waterfall. Okay, we can see behind this one. So it's definitely not here. Uh, we'll try the same trick as last time. No, okay, it's not there. Okay, there's another one around the corner here. Okay, this one, it looks like there may be a ledge up there, possibly. Same thing. Look and see if there's anything under the mount. Okay. Okay, so we are behind. We're behind the waterfall. What is happening? What just happened? Like we we got launched up into the air. What? 
just happened. Why, why did we get launched up into the air? Okay, that was some... I, I'm assuming that was a glitch of some kind. Okay, so maybe behind this waterfall. Appears to be a ledge here. Aha. There is a path behind the waterfall. Oof, that was very bright and flashy. I do apologize. So these are the rocks that I have to throw down. Alright, so that's one. Yeah. Oh sure, I can throw the rocks like a mile. But when it came to the power those power supplies. I can only throw those things like an inch. <laughs> it's like throwing gigantic uh, ten-sided dice. Can I walk on these? Yeah, I can walk on those. Okay. Oh, don't fall in the water yet. I want to be out there when I want to... Whoops. Well, that was a bad throw. Um, all right, so we sent all that, <clears throat> excuse me. We sent all that down. Uh, we looked around all over in here. Yeah, there weren't any other exits or anything like that.
just going to go ahead and gather all of these now. back here. Well, that's cleaned out. We'll go over this way. eggs to go. Alright, so. We take the rock, we throw it in the water. Let's take this one that we kind of chucked weird. Um, and we'll do this back area first. see a single worm drop. I get. That's not what I wanted. Um, we have five. And so that's exactly what we need. Uh, so I want to get, um, I want more of them just in case. guys are right here.
Just one? <laughs> What's it? That was it, just one worm fell. Okay, so we've got a bunch back there. If I do this, None of them fell. Right, let's try it again. Still none of them. why those aren't falling. I thought I heard some fall. Okay. That, that should hold us over for now. If we need more, we know where to come get them. to Citra. Oh, 
Okay, Citra was all the way back up in a crane. Or Kriya. Um, so, question is, do we fast travel to Akria to give Citra what they want? Or do we go ahead and just head over here? Let's see how long we've been playing about an hour and 15 minutes. Um... I feel like we go ahead and just... Now, let's, 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 we'll, we'll finish this, uh... We'll finish this task first. So, let's, because we know everything between point A and point B, um, we'll just go ahead and fast travel back to Akria. Um, and then we'll fast travel back to where we were, and then we'll continue on our way. Uh, one thing I do want to check. Um, okay, we only have 15 parts. So that's not a ton. I guess we could fast travel over to um, Burnt, uh, Burnt Oak to turn those in. Um... So let's go ahead and fast travel to Akria. And we are back in the city. Now I'm trying to remember who was it the the restaurant owner? Let's zoom in. No, it wasn't the restaurant owner. It was that person back in the... Uh, <laughs> for some reason, my brain keeps wanting to say Diagon Alley. Um, in that, it was like a hallway of shops. Uh, there was a store owner back there that wanted them. here and around this way I believe it's somebody back here here we go yeah the hallway with all the stores all right, was it this person? Citra, yeah. I tell Citra I have the glow worms for her. You do? You know, I'd half forgotten I even asked you. I must have been a little distracted. I hand the glow worms over. Thank you for these. Nazi will be eating even better than me tonight. Here's a merchant's badge as your reward. I say goodbye to Citra. Quest completed. Nazi's nibbles. So we have how many merchants badges now? Uh, let's see. Two beetle. We're one away from another cartographer's mask. We're one away from an entertainer's mask. 
one away from a merchant's mask. Okay, so, um, gliding, historical, lightning, riding the wave. All right, so. second why are the guards back over here there's someone in the jail again wait did the kid get put in jail again I mean we could rescue him again I guess but chat with Maz. Very well, Glider. No, okay. I guess we don't have to talk to him. Alright. Um. I thought the tea prices... Well, let's see. Saray Nomad Yuki. I thought the tea prices would come da back down now that power is back, but the merchants still haven't lowered the price. This is a disaster. Whoops, okay, don't stand on the booth, that's rude. Saray Merchant Josh. Looks like everyone's buzzing again. Power is back. Fancy some fresh fruit? Uh, I would like to trade with you. What's going on? I don't need anything. I would like to trade with you. Here's what I've got. Um, they have narrow stock figs, pomegranates, melancholy mushrooms. Shy? Ooh, boy. J.W. Re Rehur, maybe? Rehur pulp? Sunshine butterflies. Salt butterflies. Um... We already have some of all of that. See you around, glider. <laughs> Goodbye. something fast reliable both neither we've got all sorts of bike parts for you 
I would like to trade with you. What do you have? Uh, butterflies, pulp, giraffe bike wings, giraffe bike front, giraffe bike booster, the speedster bike, the delivery bike. What do I have in my inventory of bikes? Probably should have looked at this before I came over here. Um, I have the Beetle Bike, the Eries Bike, my Glider, and the Shade Bike. Bike Booster. Uh, I'd like to trade with you. What do we have? We've got 500 uh, coins. Do we want the... Do we want the giraffe bike? Ooh, we can't afford... We can't afford the speedster bike. And the delivery bike would be pushing it. We can get the giraffe bike, though. All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to sit down, meant to walk away. Um, I think the delivery bike, I think these are the three he has. So, yeah, so the speedster bike looks like that with the saddlebags. That's the delivery bike, which looks kind of awesome with the propeller on the back. Um, and the cage, I like the cage on it. And this is the giraffe bike, the one over here with... No, that's actually a combination of a giraffe bike... And the beetle bike with the front legs that do the curly Q thing. So that's a combination bike. I think this one is too. This is a combination of my glider and the delivery glider. Kind of a mix and match. Okay, so... Um, or do we talk to him again? He's a suspect. I don't know if we should talk to him again. Gary, I've been calling him Gary. Gary grunts hello. I have some questions about the power cut. No, I already talked to him about the power cut. And he was uh, at best belligerent about everything. Um... All right, so let's let's we could fast travel to Burnt Oak, deliver the uh, spare parts to get some more uh, coins. And then we'll fast travel back to where we were so that we can pick up where we left off. So there we are at Burnt Oak Station.
Holton barely looks up at me. Find anything useful? I sell my scrap to him. That's about, yeah, not bad. About 200, I say goodbye to Alton. He is nonplussed, as always. He doesn't really care as long as we keep bringing him stuff. Uh, but to be real honest, I doubt he would miss us if we stopped bringing him stuff. And I just don't think he really cares one way or the other. Um, okay, so... Some reason we're sliding down over the L there. All right, uh, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the glowworm cave, which is where we left off. And now we will um, we'll go across the southern, basically like the southernmost, southwesternmost border to get over to um, from here where we are. We're just going to be going straight across over to this. So, let's get our bike. Pretty color blue. I assume our bike's down there. Where did it leave our bike? I should probably figure that out before I just start running around. Ha. All right. Let's loop around. And we're going to be going Oh, oh. Oh. Heavy bounce. All right, we're going to see if we can cut across right through this little skinny part here. These, I believe, are the southernmost mountains. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we can't get much further than this. Should be the edge of the map right there. Yep. Alright. And I came down here on purpose. Because right along the mountain's edge here, on the edge of the map, it's really flat. <laughs> and we can haul. Plus, I'm just kind of curious if they, uh, they snuck any goodies back here in kind of this low-lying area. Take a look at this wreckage really quick. See if there's any eggs around it. Oh, good grief. Sorry about that. I, 
I muted just at the last second before I sneezed. I'm really glad I was able to hit the mute button. Okay, yeah, I don't see any... I don't see anything around the wreckage. Okay, just wanted to check. I'm being a completionist. ship parts and there is the lightning cloud I'm trying to look down over the edge there without falling over the edge here. Uh, what do we got down there? Is that a... St well, it's more, more parts of a ship. I thought maybe it was like a statue or something down there. Okay. Um, let's make our way a little closer here. get up there. That's rather steep. Let's check back this way. Oh, that's a first. Oh, ow. Here we got actual thunder. Uh, maybe around behind it? Kind of skirt along the edge here.
that's too steep. Looks like there's a building directly in front of us. Yeah, so this place is massive. Maybe we should go to the building that's not directly under the storm first. Because they said you're going to want to learn how to do this before you go up there because of how dangerous it is. So, yeah, let's go to the... Let's go to the visitor center first, essentially. Okay, looks like we have a fairly... We have a potential way to get up here. Let's see if there's actually, like, a front entrance on this side. stairs or a bridge of some kind more of it here yeah so this was this was apparently intended to be the entrance I guess Let's go ahead and uh, we'll pull the bike back here. Yeah, the glider should. Heavy on the should. Just sit back here. not get too carried away. the other thing why is everything boarded up if, if there are still all of these people living here why are like all the buildings boarded up and everyone's you know outside of the one town that we found so far Korea and even there things seem to be kind of boarded up as well it's an interesting like dichotomy going on here Like, you have people living here, but no one's living, like, in the structures that are, that exist. Okay. Anything on... T Wait a second. Hold on. I can see the circles from the racetrack from all the way over here, directly in front of me. So is that... Am I facing Seven Sisters? Because I see like little glittering of light out there.
Not really, no. So, what am I seeing out there? Is that a ship? That I just haven't found yet? Okay, I see a bridge up there. Okay, not seeing anything on that roof. Um... Anything on the, no, nothing on the top of the gazebo. Okay. Interesting. Interesting and interesting. Uh, there are people up here. Gigantic crystals. Tents and people. I'm going to be real honest. I wasn't anticipating the people part. Um, all right, we're going to look back down really quick. I don't see any hidden stuff, so let's, uh, let's find out why there are people up here. There's a lot of people up here. One, two, three, there's like five people. Nothing in the tents. Nothing in the tents. Anything behind the tents? Doesn't appear so. Okay, that's the walkway up. Okay, so this person looks like they'll talk to us. Nothing in the tents. A Cohen merchant. Kaiman? Kaiman. They don't actually say anything. Um, I would like to trade with you. Tell me about this camp. I don't need anything. Uh, tell me about this camp. Uh, they don't say anything. Still don't say anything. They don't seem interested in answering my question. The silence is intense and uncomfortable. I came here years ago. The plateau. It calls to be studied. Their voice is slow, but deliberate and thoughtful. Uh, I would like to trade with you. What do they have? Uh, they have Hakoan black dye. They have three lightning crystals. Uh, okay, we're gonna buy the Hakoan clothing. Uh, 
I can afford all three of these, but then I can't get the paint. So I'll have to, um, quest updated, lightning in a bottle. At first sight, the crystal farmers are so striking that I nearly gasp. Their height is immense and they move with such calm that I can't help but describe some higher knowledge to them or see the wisdom of age in the curves of their back. But then I remind myself, my reading is formed by the markers I see among my own people, the shorthands of a culture, and these farmers are in no way beholden to my interpretation. That was really well said. I wonder what they make of me. Greetings, Crystal Farmer. Greetings, Glider. I am called Toda, and you are? I expect his voice to emerge as a rasp, but instead it spills like silk from behind his crystalline mask. There is a purity to the sound of him. Every word reaches me as cleanly as a whisper in the ear. I speak slightly louder than normal to ensure that I am heard up there. I tell him my name is Sable, and that Zahara sent me uh, to collect crystals, but advised that I speak to him first. There are no eyes on the crystal he wears, but he lights up at the mention of her name, and I still know where to look. How pleasing to hear that she is well. It has been weeks, if not months, since I have last seen my dear Zahra. Zahra. Zah. Zahra? There's no C. Zah. Zah. Zahra. Tell me, Sable, are you on your way to becoming a machinist? Um. I'm considering it. I don't think so. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet. Then it is good that you needn't. The purpose of the gliding is not to choose. Choice is the gliding's end. Indecision is its intended form. I say that if that is the case, I am incredibly good at it. Tota's laugh sparkles through his mask. Now then, how may I help you, Sable? Um... I've never met a crystal farmer before. I tell Tota that he is the first crystal farmer I have ever met, and add that I hope it isn't rude of me to mention. He shifts his weight and the crystals on his back move lazily with him. Oh, we must look very odd to you. No, I don't think so. I protest, but it only makes Tota chuckle. I ask if I look odd to him. You don't, which is partially because I have met others like you, but also because we are the different ones. I offer that we are both different, and somehow I swear he smiles. I'm not sure that's something we decide. Anything else I can do for you? What is this place? Toto raises one of his walking sticks up and points it skyward to gesture to the crystal plateau, leaning at an angle that speaks to some impressive strength. We built it. It was made to draw lightning storms away from the rest of Hakoa and concentrate them on that peak. As it happened, a side effect of that concentration was that the formation of lightning crystals charged with electricity. He makes a circle in the air. 
Isn't it a wonder? We turned a bane into a boon, and a boon into a culture. All the chemicals and coincidences that conspired to create the crystal farmers. I nod in agreement. And suddenly this place I thought a factory feels more like a place of worship. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, what are th those big... What robots? I didn't see any robots. What are those big robots? Those are the reason my shoulders are complaining and my knees are grinding to dust. They used to harvest our lightning crystals, but now we must do it ourselves. And it's not easy work. I ask what happened. They stopped, all at once. One day, after a storm that seemed otherwise entirely normal, they all simply stopped. Some fell over, others stayed up, but none of them have ever moved again. In sympathy, I say it must have felt a terrible omen. He shakes his head, and it's the quickest I've seen him move. Oh, nothing like that, no. There is some explanation in the mechanics or the chemistry, even if we don't know it. And in that, at least, we take great comfort. I nod, and I think in some way I understand him better. Anything else I can do for you? How do I harvest the crystals? I tell Toto that I was sent to collect lightning crystals, and ask first if I'm allowed to do that, and second, how I might go about it. You're welcome to try. If anyone but Zaharad sent you, I would consider ta talking you out of it, Sable. But she knows people, so I'll simply tell you. Toda nods up at the plateau. Watch and wait for the lightning to strike one of the obelisks. When it does, you'll see crystals begin to form on its surface. You need to climb up on the obelisk and break off what you can of the lightning crystals. You'll need to be quick about it, though, and get them before they shatter. Uh, not that I think you'll have much trouble. You've, you've a certain quickness. I thank him for the vote of confidence. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, that's it. Quest updated. Lightning in a bottle. Zara, the machinist at Seven Sisters, asked me to fetch three lightning crystals from the Crystal Plateau. I went to the Plateau and collected the crystals. I should bring the lightning crystals back to Machinist Zara. Okay, um... I did, however, buy those? Um... So I do feel a sense of obligation to... Uh, go up and and at least try to collect some myself. Um, and if I can collect them, uh, maybe I will find money up there, which would give me the. Um, and I'm guessing there's probably an egg up there too as well. Um, I'm hoping that I will find uh, money up there as well, so that I can come back down and buy that bike paint. And sudden music change. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, check the tops of these. Just to make sure. In case there is a no, I was kind of hoping there was going to be a, um, a chest up here.
ba 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 let's look over here really quick. That's a long way down. That's a long way up. So I think we're going to take the kind of roundabout way. Just for the sake of, um, again, completion. If there's anything up here, I want to be able to get it. Since we are getting so close to completing bits and pieces. Ah, look who's over here. Hiding in the corner. This is why you always look around. Only four more left. Whoa, look at that statue. That's amazing. This is where we first came in. I just wanted to make sure that we were crossing T's and dotting I's. Alright, let's come up here. And we're going to check all around up here really quick. pretty normal. Nothing on top of the spire. All right, we already went all the way over there. We saw all of that. There's another statue. Are the statues the robots? Oh, maybe that's what they were talking about. Maybe the statues are actually robots. 
As he said, some sat down, some just stopped, some did X, Y, Z. Uh, let's look down here really quick. Statue slash robot is below us. I don't see anything back there behind. I was really expecting something to be behind them. I think that's all the way around. surprised we ran all the way around and there isn't anything down there really surprised I was sure there was gonna be something even just a little just like a clay pot with like five coins in it a little something down there for the trouble
Hmm. I'll be real honest, I'm stunned that there wasn't anything... There still isn't anything up here. Okay, hold on. We're gonna... Uh, uh, grab. There you go. Grab. And now we're gonna do this again. Nope, missed. Oh, no, 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 no. Darn it. <laughs> I was certain that there was going to be something up here. I'm I am actually stunned that there isn't something up here. So, uh, right, we'll take the top level, we're going to run the top level, and see if there's anything up here. Uh, we already ran the lower level. I should have done the top so I could see all three at once. that just stopped. So once we get to a, uh, once we climb up there, we're going to have to do a, a circle to check all these, the crystal tops, to make sure something's not hidden up there. There's just so many of them, there's no way to check. Uh, there's no way to check easily unless you're above them. All right. 
right, we have made our way all the way around. Unfortunately, we didn't find anything. It does make me a tad sad. the statue's leg. Crystal Plateau.
seeing anything here. Seeing anything down there? All right, so we For how complex this place is, I was expecting... I don't know, I was expecting to find more stuff, I guess. Than just the crystals. appears to be down there. Nothing's over there. This whole circle, this whole system seems to be, seems to be set up purely for Purely for harvesting
Oh, I'm guessing that's what the problem was. They separated that... The main crystal in the middle. It looks like it broke and he was trying to put it back on when they ran out of juice. Yeah, by the way, they're standing. It looks like they were trying to fix this. if I can get up there or not. I could probably get across to the other arm and then get up. Would you look at what's in the middle? So we have the technology for giant robots. But we don't know how they work. 
We don't know how to fix them. Other than to possibly put this particular crystal he's holding on to. Putting it back. Look around. I don't see any, uh, yeah, I don't see any chests up here or anything like that. I was really hoping there was going to be some more, some more loot up here. sisters or five sisters at <laughs> seven sisters um okay so we need to take the uh we know the ship is between point a and point b um Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and, um... Let's go ahead and fast travel back to Seven Sisters. Here we are. Let's head down and speak to uh, Zara. That is... Um, every, every time I come here, I walk to the wrong side of the, the plateau. It's really funny. I In this game, I have found myself perpetually... Um, at odds with the directions. I always think I'm facing one direction and I'm facing the other. Ooh, I almost fell off the edge. Is there a butterfly heading back here? There sure is. Thought I saw that. Yeah, 
And there is our bike. And there is Zara. I greet Zara. She nods. Get those crystals yet? I have them right here. I give her the crystals and she nods approvingly, tossing them around in her hands and inspecting the crackling glow of each one. I stand impassive, my arms crossed this time. So what do you think? Uh, not bad, A, eh? or you knew exactly what you were sending me into, didn't you? Uh, just so what do you think? I think you deserve a badge. Zara hands me a machinist badge. I thank her and ask what she intends to do with the crystals. You'll like this. I'm building bike parts, and I'm happy to offer them up for trade if you've got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric. My ears perk up. You'll have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it together piece by piece. Bonding with a bike. I think of the soft static hum I feel in my hands when the sun is warm on Simone's surface, and how she brings to mind a basking beast. We do bond, her and I, don't we? I tell Zara I'll be sure to come to the machinists next time I need such things and we say goodbye quest completed lightning in a bottle uh, I believe that gives us three machinist badges which means Which means I can now get the next mask. The atmosphere in the tent is intense, uncomfortable. Claim the machinist's mask. I show my machinist badges to the mask caster. Quest completed. The Machinist's Mask. The 
the world has turned decidedly monotone. Very interesting. I wonder why that is. completed three quests um what do we have left in our quest list um oops don't know what made me think i should use my mouse um marrow bone station riding the wave historical reconnection the gliding, building a queendom, ancient race. Okay, so what I'm thinking if we leave seven sisters, we're here at seven sisters. If we head over into this section, we pass the cartographer and the um, the city up on top of the and come down this way. I know there's a ship here somewhere that we could see um, from on top of the spires. So if we head over that way, we can probably find that next ship. And uh, that would allow us to talk to um, to Saren. So... Let's get on our glider. I'm still not entirely sure why it went monochrome. That's a bit odd. distance away. Whoop, turn. Turn a little bit more. Okay, we're going to look back over that way. Okay, the bike is facing south. If I turn the bike towards that... Hold on. That's seven sisters. At some point, we're going to try to get on top of that. That. Okay, so that is... What is that? Nope. Oh. That, okay, that was Bridge of the Betrayed. It's just we're looking at it from a weird angle. 
So the cartographer station is over that way. Yeah, I think we're pointed in just about the right direction. So at some point before we finish the game, we'll come back and we're going to take a look at Seven Sisters. I feel like once we do the, um, once we finish the Queen's quest and we have our absolute full stamina, that maybe that would be a good time to try it. Because at that point, then we should have enough strength to be able to climb just a little bit better. Interesting. We got the color back. So is it due to location? Or was it time of day or? Oh, maybe it was time of day. I'm not sure why it did that. Okay, so I want to go more of that direction. So once we get around the corner here, we'll try to hop up. direction. Oh, the riverbed. Let's see, um, okay, there's the cartographer's balloon, you can see that from here, so let's cut through underneath, oh, I saw the light of the ship, it's over here. Yeah, right there. And there is another racetrack tower. Which means... Oh wait, that's what I was seeing. I was seeing the tower, I wasn't seeing a spaceship. Okay. So there's one. Need to go around it and not through it. There's two.
Where are the rest of them? They over here, they in a circle. No, I don't see one down there. Let's go back this way. I think maybe they're in between the rocks here. So there's one, two. Let's try this direction. Over here? of them. Where are the rest of the circles? Aha, three and four. Okay. So we'll go out this way. Goodness. Okay, can't fly through that. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get over here so we can get a run and start at it. Side edge, can't really, it's a very tight space on this one. Everything looks pretty normal on that side. Okay, nothing back there.
statues. three statues and another ring nothing Okay, let's go to the top. Claim the egg that is always at the top of this. Go. Walk around the outside edge just in case they left us a treat. Two more eggs. That's all we need. All right, anything from this vantage point? The rings are lit up. We can see the, the city up on top of the spires up there, which we already looked at. And there is the ship. Okay, we are looking what direction? How many of those do we have now? We have five. So maybe there's six of them? Okay, and that's what we're seeing. That's what that other dark spot is. Yeah, because the tracks, none of the tracks are listed on, on the map. Which is interesting, but... Alright, so... Um... We will head over to the ship.
What is my bike doing? <laughs> Why is it not coming to me? Did he get stuck? There it is. Apparently he got stuck somewhere. Get over to the ship. Bank down into the riverbed here. So close. Inspect the outside. Well, that's it. <laughs> it's up against. It looks like it hit and then just nose dived into the ground. I could be wrong, but this ship looks like it's like nose down into the earth or whatever. Terra firma, whatever this planet is. I don't think it's supposed to be earth. Okay. There there are mechanics working in the ship that that thing is going up and down the lift kind of device. All right, let's fully look around on the outside here. Broken stuff going on over there. I think because it came in the way it did, the wreckage is. F Don't lose your bike. I won't lose my bike. I think that. Uh. Excuse me. Climber Zania. Boy, there. Ahoy, where? The loud bellowing greeting nearly makes me jump out of my skin. But as I turn to see who's there, I find only darkness. Up here. Now I spot a waving figure cast in shadow.
I still don't see them anywhere. Maybe over there? Impressive, isn't it, Glider? Are you jealous? Of what? Very not at all. I'm not jealous. I'll say of what? To clarify. Me being up here and having the skill to do it. I don't know where here is. I don't see them. But a small fry like you couldn't make it up here. It's an oddly combative energy to bring to a conversation with a stranger. I'll give him that. Yet something about it finds a home in my brain. Small fry. Little sable. Tiny little sable. A grain of sand tossed about by a gentle wind. I look up at their tittering silhouette, which I still don't know where it is. Challenge accepted. Quest started. Tower of Steel. So they're up on top of the machine? No idea. Okay, back to what we were doing, which is looking for goodies. And that's what I'm talking about. A little scrap metal. Um, we want to find coins, scrap metal, and eggs. That will bring all of this to completion. And if we get some cash, we can go back and buy that, um, that paint that I wasn't able to get because I was low on funds. Uh, let's see, the bikes over here, all right, we've already taken in all that. All right, we've looked around the outside. We found scrap metal. Right, anything down here? No. Okay. Not hiding stuff. Okay. Kimball's Cube. Nothing back here. So that, oh, I see. Okay, so basically we're going to have to stair step up to get into the ship. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we definitely checked everything out here all the way. Whoops. And we wait. 
unless we can climb up the wall. Well, that was interesting. Why didn't we hang on? That was odd. Okay, so being at the top is the best. There you go. Look around, look around, look around. Okay, look around, look around, look around. Alright. Stopping. A stopping point. Scrap. Excellent. Okay, nothing back there. Check back here. Okay, so as we go up, let's uh, let's look at what we're working with here. Okay, so that one comes up, stops. That one stops there. So we'll grab onto this one. It goes up. <gasps> okay. Which one I grabbed onto. Oh, hello. Money. So we got that, got that. So we were on the second level, okay. Is there... Alright, got the scrap metal there. Lots of scrap metal back there. We'll have to wait for this to, <laughs> to go back across. Um, yeah, lots of scrap metal. That's good. Um... Can't see. Hmm. 
I can't see down into that. Oh, there isn't a down. Okay. Um, okay, I think I see. I think what needs to happen is this has to do this. And then I have to step off onto this railing. And wait for that to come back down. Okay, so we come up here. Come up here. Ah. Why? Why couldn't I grab onto that? And that doesn't come down far enough. Okay, can I climb up the outside wall? No. If I hadn't made that mistake, I would never would have seen that. That's a hundred eggs. Yeah, if I wouldn't have slipped up and made that mistake, I, I wouldn't... I just... I didn't see it over there. Alright, so on top of this one... Takes us up... To that. This takes us over to this. This gets us on to this. Look down from here just in case. Let's look up from here. Okay, I think that was all the stuff. Uh, we have an airlock there.
I guess a reason to stop would be to catch our breath. Okay, we can walk up here. Oh, there's the uh, person who challenged us. That wasn't hard. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't see anything back there. Nothing back there. Uh, let's see. We looked all around here. More scrap. I'm hoping for one more egg so that when I give her the 20, I still have one left over. But I don't think that it'll do that. I think, oh, there is another one. I think she'll take all of them. Yeah, I can't. I can't get him. So to take this one back, I would have to, um, I would have to come back and get him. All right, here's some more scrap, more money. Excellent. Um... All right, well, let's talk to this character and get this out of the way, and then we'll continue going up. There they are. I walk towards the climber, chest puffed with performative pride and a well-earned swagger in my walk. It doesn't matter if I'm a little sweaty. They can't see that. It's fine. Well, well, well. What were you saying again? Not bad for a small fry, huh? I think I expect more antagonism, but what I get is a laugh. Well done. I'm... I'm impressed. And not above eating my words when I've been proven wrong. Here. They toss a climber's badge my way, and mercifully, I catch it. Today really is my day. You've earned that, Glider. Only a climber could take that taunt and meet the challenge head on. It's an ascent like no other, this heap, and you should be proud you pulled it off. I take everything back. You're a very big fry. I'll take it. Quest completed. Tower of Steel. Okay, so we talked to them. Uh, we know where another egg is. Should we be able to come back and get more? Um, now... Is there a way to get even higher? Like the top of the ship. Okay. Uh, can I glide over to that and get on top of it? Yes. Oh. That was weird. I jumped and it was just like, yeah, no. <laughs> it's just like it wouldn't even let me. That was very strange. All right, let's try that again. There. Stand. Turn. Jump. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, so unfortunately, oh, would you look at that? There's another ship. Face that way. Deuce. Okay, so that's what the other thing we saw is. Due south of us. Yeah, because this one doesn't have an AI in it, so there was. This wasn't one of the big ships. Um. see if there was anything else huh. I don't believe so okay Shame this door doesn't open. Out of curiosity, did we see? Did we see any? Crawling ports, like those ports that you can crawl through. If we did, they'd be on the wall. Yeah, everything's gray in here. I don't see any signs of a port. Because the ports were usually, they had like a gold liner around the edge of them. to be able to climb through a port and get into a lower level of the ship. Nah, I don't see anything. Alright. So, over that way. So I think what we'll do is we'll grab the bike. We will See the riverbeds down there. If there is a gentle way to get down there.
looks like a cliff. I'll try to angle it down and not wreck. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay. There's another, yeah, there's another, uh, there's another egg. Well, it'll let me get that one. Why wouldn't it let me get the other one? other ship. Strange. Now I feel compelled to go back and try to get it. Uh, tell you what. First, we're going to get close enough to the ship so it recognizes we're here. This one's pretty banged up. I'm guessing the entrance is back here on this one. There's another one. at the front. gently down the slope. Still not telling me I'm on the ship yet. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted it to tell me I was on the ship. Um, okay, so let's go grab that really quick. Hopefully we can grab that really quick. We just sneak around the corner here and grab it. Still haven't found enough for, um...
We haven't found enough for the paint. Um Okay, we will we will search the ship. Um after 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 we take care of the other things. So, we have now found Raleigh's Way. It is now marked on the map as a location that we can... Right there, that we can come to. Um, yeah. Okay, we are going to fast travel to the Queen's Lair, so we can finish that quest. Uh, and then we can uh, fast travel... Uh, we've got 15 scrap. Yeah, we could... We Maybe we'll wait on the scrap. Mainly I want to do the eggs, because... Um, I want to get that, uh... I want to get that extra stamina. So, uh, let's close out of this. So, let's go ahead... Let's go ahead and fast travel to the Queen's Lair. All right. I greet the queen. The queen asks me if I have the eggs for her. You've done it. You're our champion. I feel excitement and pride well up inside me. Now, child, open your heart to me. Stamina increased. Well done, Sable. I think I have no more tears to cry. You don't realize it, but you've done us quite the service. There haven't been this many chums brought together in ages. And since you've been so helpful, we will use our collective power to give you a gift. In the chest you'll find a mask. It will help guide you to even more of my children. Bring as many as you find. We have a happy home here now, thanks to you. I thank the Queen profusely and celebrate my new acquisition. Quest completed. Building a queendom.
Chum Mask. The gift from Queen Chum. This mask reacts whenever I'm close to a chum that hasn't been found yet. Ooh, interesting. It's got little antennas on it. So that's the machinist's mask. Interesting. Okay. Actually, let's leave that mask on for just a bit. as we are going to fast travel over to Burnt Oak. Eyes to the front, please. Well, hey, Rose. Oh, it is. It is awfully early in the morning where you are. <laughs> uh, hi, hello. I definitely should be asleep. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Please play flap cap with me tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It is very, very late where you are, or very early, I should say. Um, I hope you're doing well, uh, also. Um, bonk. Yeah, uh, as you can see, my driving skills have not uh, increased, so there's that. <laughs> uh, nor my crashing skills, those are still quite good. It's almost three in the morning. I just got home. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say yeah. It's it's really early in the morning there. I'm glad you got to see some friends. That's awesome. Uh, Alton barely looks up at me, looking a bit weighed down. Sable, hope it's scrap. Uh, sell scrap metal. Nice. I say goodbye. See ya. Peace. All right, we are gonna head out, and now we are going to fast travel to the places where we need to pick up the bits and pieces. Uh, just so I pop in and say hi, and yes, you're still a terrible driver. Well, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate you, and thank you for stopping in before you headed off to bed. I appreciate it. I'm glad you had a good time today. That's awesome. Um, I hope you have some good sleeps, even though they're probably going to be fairly short sleeps. But uh, I hope you sleep well tonight, <laughs> this morning. Um, let's see. We. Okay, so. We are going to fast travel to the places to get the stuff. Uh, place number one uh, was here, so we can buy the paint. So we're going to fast travel there, yes. 
because we didn't have enough money when we were there. Uh, I haven't shot you in the butt for so long. <laughs> I'd like that to change. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we, I will see. Uh, we will see how tomorrow. Uh, how tomorrow pans out. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I think this is the guy who has the paint. Uh, I would like to trade with you. And there it is. Okay. That is all we came for here. We got everything else. Let's, uh... I don't even know where our bike is. It doesn't even really matter. Uh, let's go here. And now we're going to fast travel back to here to get the... Um, the egg that we missed. Uh, okay, I must sleep. Hope you have a fun stream and are okay. Uh, likewise, hope you're doing well. And I hope you sleep well. And I, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your, uh, rest of your morning before the sun comes back up. <laughs> sleep well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna fast travel to Rowley. Nope, that wasn't the ship. I wanted the other ship. Darn it. I picked the wrong one. It's going to be like, but we just got here. We're going to fast travel away from here? Uh, Yeah, that's the new ship. We want the other ship that we already went to. That one. Fast travel there. Okay, now that we are here, and we are not concerned about who sees our, our garb, we can change into the Queen's Mask. And what clothes are we going to wear? Um, what territory are we in? I guess we could do the sand surfer thing. That looks really weird. Uh, not shade. There's the monumental stone outfit. Ukraine guard outfit. That's not bad. Do we not have machinist pants? Apparently we don't have machinist pants. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Sure. Okay, I just wanted to put this mask on while we're here to see what happens when we get close up there. Because we know that there is an egg up there.
Oh, the coin thing is back. Interesting. Rats. Just missed that one. Okay, so the antennas just kind of wobble back and forth the whole time. And the ears flap. And I'm assuming it's going to do that to a faster degree once I get close. Okay, for some reason, all the... The egg is missing from down there, but all of the other stuff, all the scrap is still here. So I'm getting to double dip on the scrap, which is interesting. I'll need to remember that when I go outside, that there's scrap out there I need to pick up. So the antennas don't seem to be doing anything different. Okay, there they go. They start... They start going faster. So back here, going slow. As I walk forward, they start going faster. And it's quite a ways away. It's over there on the other side of that thing. So we got that. Um, there wasn't any scrap upstairs. All right. However, there is scrap up here. Yeah, this is still here. Interesting. I wonder why it let me double dip on that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, that makes me wonder are the eggs out here gone, or did it put them back? Let's double check. Yeah, that one's already gone. Okay. So for some reason, just the stuff inside the ship.
Interesting. Okay, so um, then we will uh, fast travel to the new ship. What are we doing on time? Uh, we're about an hour over. <laughs> All right, we are here at, we haven't, we have not explored this ship yet. Oh, interesting. So our antennas aren't moving at all. So when, when we're nowhere near one, our antennas don't move at all. Yeah, because we already got that one. So if we're even within... Wow, if we're even remotely close to one, the, the antennas start moving. So that's good to know. Alright, so we came in here. We already checked. We already went over there. Although, now I'm kind of curious... Did the, uh, yeah, okay, so that's the, the little coin, the clay jar with the coins in it is gone. Um, okay, what am I missing? There must be a, a, there must be like a an opening hidden somewhere. Okay, nothing back there. Oh, it goes around the corner. Okay. Like so. There we go. Okay. Anything up there? No. All right. Oh, antenna's moving. All right. We. Oh, uh, we've got. Okay. <laughs> yeah, another puzzle to do. We got more scrap. All right, we got the scrap. Um, let's go ahead and head down this way. Okay, that. That battery is already plugged in and goes to a, a light. Hmm. Okay, it's swinging faster. There must be an egg back here. We're definitely getting closer. If it's above us, okay, okay, there's a battery over there. Okay, flapping even faster, so we're getting really close. I 
think it's somewhere up there. More scrap. Here's the battery. Um, okay. So let's... On top of one of these. Okay, I need to get up there because there's a coin box up there. Alright, so that one's got a battery in it that goes up there that I assume is charging this the slider that's going back and forth. So the battery down here I can put in there would get me up there. This is going to be one of those things where it's like you have to baby step it. Okay, so grab this. Oh, shoot. I did. Oh, there's stairs. Good. I was like, I did not mean to do that. All right, set that down. There, there, there are steps up here. Yeah, right here. Okay, so getting on that would launch us Hold on. Yeah, so if we're standing here, it would launch us with the battery over to there. So do we even need that running? It does seem kind of pointless. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we need that for if we've got the... Uh, So what we need to do is we need to come down here. We need to grab that battery.
We'll stick that battery in there. Now, how do we get... How do we get this battery up there to turn that on? Oh, here. Okay, whoop, I missed a step. Okay. I need this. This is step one. So we need that one in there. And we take this out. And we get on the launchy thing so it'll... Whoop, hello. We get on the launchy thing so it'll, it'll put us up there on the ramp. There we go. Yay, bonk off the wall. Okay, pick that up. Turn the camera. Put it there. Come down. Grab this. Hold on. I need this battery up there. I grab onto that. There we go. I need this battery. I was like, I knew I was missing. I was missing a battery. All right, drop. Turn around. Okay. Oh, it, <laughs> it bounced down there. Okay, hold on. Is that... Oh, no, we want that. Here, hold on. No, pick it up. Pick it up. There. Like that. Let's try this again. We Let's not waste a step. We no longer need this. <sighs> now the question is... I think we need to waste the step because if that's sticking out and we try to land up there, I have a feeling we're going to fall. Let's see what happens. Oh, 
absolutely flew right over it. Okay, wait, we flew right over it. How do we... How do we not do that? So leave it out. All right, grab this. All the way over. Interesting. accidentally shot the Okay How do I get it to not do that? I feel like I'm missing something. squat down. No, I tried to put it down and it flew. Alright, what am I doing wrong here? Let's try putting this down. Okay, let's try that. Missed. Didn't mean to do that. bike in here is a bad idea. Nope. 
I'm at a loss here. I'm not sure what I need to do differently. bike down because otherwise it's going to keep gliding back and forth out here until it finds me. do I get it to stop up here? Because putting this out didn't work. So maybe I need to go for the high shot so that it bounces back, like go as high as I can. No, it doesn't bounce. It slams into the wall and drops. didn't work. Uh, 
I am really at a loss here. I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, so that was different. It was a it was a different result. Let's uh Okay, so let's try this. While it's down, jump into the corner, slam against the wall. Maybe it bounced off of the... Maybe it bounced off the extended catapult, and which is why it landed on the ground again. So let's try this. Try to land in the corner again. It bounced. Okay, let's try putting it in the corner without us. And we'll watch it what happens. Interesting. Okay. We'll take it. That was convoluted, but it worked. side turn it I usually leave them out that's all right
This makes this easier. All right, this thing's gonna launch us all the way across. Let's get as high as we can. Turn around. E. Okay, antennas are wiggling like crazy. I don't see. He's not on top of there, is he? No. Antennas are still wiggling. How do we get over there? Open the door in Raleigh's way. Okay. Get up on top of here. Uh, why can't I grab that? What's going on? As it comes back. So antennas are moving slow. Over here, antennas moving slow. I go over here, antennas moving fast. Hmm. 
might be in here. Scrap metal. More scrap metal. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. It's somewhere in the ship. Okay, let's get more of the story. I say hello to Saren. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. Recording number five. I find myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. Saren, at long range communication, oh, at long range communication are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to the shielding Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission. Sing. Granted. Saren, I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without it being bounced back. Yes, Captain. Deacon. Well, we might as well get the terraformers up and running then, right? Sing, Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers. He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish, before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running your mouth, we'd still be in orbit negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. We can't even breathe the air out there, and... Deacon, all the more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point, Captain? Sing, Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their rad shielding is beyond repair right now. If we run these things, they will pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. It's not an option for us, Deacon. Deacon, then maybe we don't do it for us. The recording goes silent. No unread messages. Wow. Okay. Okay.
So they were bringing terraforming equipment here to work on the planet. The terraforming equipment got damaged as they crash landed. And the captain was trying to get everything put back together again. And this guy named Deacon decided that it was more important to terraform the planet than to make sure that it was safe to terraform the planet. I'm guessing he turned on the equipment and blasted enough radiation around everyone to basically nuke the entire planet, which is why it looks post-apocalyptic now and why everyone is wearing masks. I'm guessing it's because they're all disfigured from the radiation. Uh, these are probably people well, well into the future, which is why all of this stuff is just sitting here looking like it's untouched um, outside of, you know, of course, crashing. But yeah, I'm guessing that would happen. Um, I, I could be totally wrong, but that is the impression I'm getting. is that uh, the people who did all of this to get here have are long, long gone. And we are either... We are either the survivors or the descendants. We don't know which. Okay, they're not moving. Okay, they're starting to move. There it is. Okay, let's look at our quests. We have now completed 22. So we started, when we started uh, playing today, we were at 17, 18, 19, 20. We've done five, we've done five quests in one stream. Um, so we still have heartbreak in the city. The ancient race, so we are still missing a racetrack. 
at least one racetrack, if not more. Uh, the gliding. Uh, we're still missing a ship because we're missing one of Saren's terminals. Uh, riding the wave, we still need to do. Ask about Lahore at Bone Marrow Station. All right, so let's look at our map. Let's zoom out. Was there a... Each region has a campsite, doesn't it? Our station, we have Burnt Oak Station there. Seven Sister Station is there. No, there isn't a station up here. There's a there's just a full fledged town. And there wasn't a station out here. So, this little section here, because you can see the edge of the map starts here, and the edge of the map starts here. So if I move this just right, basically that's the entire playable area there, probably even less than that. Um, this is probably going to be the smallest section here. Uh, however, we have been on for, uh, we're pushing five hours. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I think what we're going to do is I think we will, let's see, what are our goods? Where are we? Uh, we've got 26 items to turn in for cash. Um, we've got five eggs that we could turn in. Uh, we don't have any more badges. And if we look at our, um, we could do riding the wave. Um, we would just have to go over there and and finish the last bit of it. Um, because now that we have the machinist mask, we could do it. Um, but again, I think that, um, I think we will, we will save it for, um, our next stream. So let's go ahead and What camp is closest to Oh there isn't Seven Sisters is a long way away. They'd be going a, a huge distance in the wrong direction. Um we'd almost be better off just staying here at the ship and then head into the territory um on the next stream. Yeah, I think we will. I think we're going to hang out here at the ship. Um, I mean, unless there's... I don't... I think there's probably going to be a station, like here, like right inside the other territory. 
because there's one way up here, there's one way over here, there's one way over here, the city. So they're either, the station's either going to be like set way back in here, um, but we have to find the cartographer and the city, and so there's, or the, you know, whatever station is there. So that's going to take some time. Um, so yeah, we will, we will save that for the next one. Let's just go ahead and, uh, our bike is here and we are here. Um, we will just, uh, We'll just go ahead and come inside here, and uh, we will camp down inside the ship until such time that uh, that we play again. So, well, let me see. Alright, that is going to do it for this stream. Uh, I want to send a huge shout out to everybody who stopped by, uh, to everybody who lurked, thank you so much. Um, I never call my lurkers out by name, if you want to be, you know, if you want to chat, that's your prerogative, but I will never call out anybody who lurks here. You are more than welcome to hang out in the shadows and just relax and chill. It's not my place to call you out. If you want to come in and be quiet and hang out, you are always welcome to do that. Um, I would like to uh, send a shout out to Rose. Uh, Rose is not only my mod, but she is also um, a fellow streamer and a, a, a rather fun one at that. Uh, her, her stream is an absolute blast. So uh, giving her a shout out here. Uh, if you'd like to, please uh, feel free to stop by her stream at some point. Give her a follow. Show her some love. Uh, she is a wonderful person. And uh, I really enjoy hanging out in her streams. She has a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it for this round of Flying Sable. Um, I am... I may play tomorrow because we're getting so close to the end of it. Uh, I may do a, a bonus stream tomorrow and play sometime during the day tomorrow. Um, if I do, uh, be sure to follow so that you can be notified of uh, when I go live so you can see the rest of it. Um, but yeah, uh, until then, um, please remember to be well, take care of yourself, take care of one another, look out for the people around you, and uh, look out for yourself and take care of yourself as well. And uh, always remember to treat yourself the same way you would treat a best friend, because you deserve nothing less. So that is going to wrap it up for this stream. Uh, until next time, take care, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Have a good one.